Hello everyone, this is another brief Grand MA3 tutorial. I'm running version 2.2.1.1 on macOS. And today I'm going to create a temp fader, which we will use to stomp movements um, and uh, gradually stomp movements. So we will effectively resize like the movement size and then ultimately stop all movement. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's create um, a pretty basic sequence. And I create a new one here and I label this relative circle. Circle. Good. And in this sequence, um, we pick our Kialamis. We bring them to full by using our full dimmer preset here. We add a new recipe line and we take our Kielamis again and we pick uh, the relative circle phaser. And this is from the um, MA lighting uh, phaser template pack. So it's basically um, a universal phaser which um, uses relative values in the position attributes. So we have stored that and let's um, go to playback and we assign this sequence to the executor here and let's check it out yeah fine works so we off off everything go back to programming and the next thing which we want to do is we want to store a universal position preset usually um, the position presets are selective so um, let's just pick some fixtures here and it doesn't really matter which ones because we will not store the selection information with the preset. On the position attributes, we switch to relative and for pan and tilt, we put in a, a, a relative zero value. Now we got a long press store to open the storage preferences. And from the automatic um, preset mode, we choose universal so that our next storage operation will create a universal preset item and we store this here. And this uh, little U in the top right corner here uh, indicates that we um, in fact have created a universal position preset as opposed to a selective one. And let's label it, we call it stomp um, position. Good, let's clear off the programmer and we store create a new sequence, label this as stomp position. And in that sequence, we um, pick our Kielamis and we, of course, pick um, the stomp preset. That's all. We go to our playbacks and we assign the stomp position sequence to an executor. Um, now we've got to make two final adjustments um, by clicking on the sequence here. First, we have to switch off off when overridden because um, the console kind of considers an output of zero relative values as um, not outputting anything which um, is effective. So we switch this off. And of course, in the handle, we change the master fader to a temp fader. Good. So now let's fire up the circle and we see our movement. And when we move up the temp fader, we see the size of the phaser slowly dec decreases. And when we move it up to 100%, it completely stops. We can move it back down and our circle is back half of the size and completely stopped. So that's how you create a stomp fader. Um, I hope this helps you. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I'd be happy if you spread the information. Thank you.